up people so we're back with another video i hope you're all having a good start to the week and are staying safe now this one is a very sensitive one but very close to me as well as i have experienced a bit of this growing up and throughout my life now this one that i'm bringing to you all is all about racism so let's get into it so in this day and age unfortunately that we live in racism still does exist and you know since the black lives matter protest um, of the killing of George Floyd has definitely, you know, outraged a lot of people and, you know, people are taken to social media of, you know, expressing of how they're actually feeling and not just in social media, but in person as well. Now, it's very sad because, you know, we're all human and I do believe that no one is born racist and you know it's only the parents the peers that are bringing up the children at that time that implants it to their head and teaches them it and that's becoming you know their knowledge and you know to what they were taught so therefore it's definitely not something that's in your genes or that you're born with now i've i've had so many different friends in my life of different nationalities and to be honest with you, with you it doesn't matter if you're white black whatever color you know if i get along with you with your personality and we click then you know we click and if we don't then we don't it's nothing to do with your skin color now with you know this prince harry thing and megan i'm not going to go too much into it but you know there was a hundred percent a race thing behind it and people was outraged to what megan said and to be honest with you i think she was very brave in saying what she said as you know even for Harry as well, because they they ducked out, excuse my language, I'll change it. They actually left their country to actually be able to live their life and do what they're doing. So at the end of the day, you know, with people saying about what she was saying and all of that madness is very sad, you know, because it definitely does go on. Now, we're not saying it's the Queen that directly may have said it or whoever it was, but it was someone that was, you know, in within the royal family that did say it and hurt you know their feelings so that you know they ducked out but yeah with the george floyd thing as well it's very sad as you know in this 21st century you know police officers are able to brutality you know to a human being of especially you know black people but it is happening to white people as well but mainly black people and just take their lives in front of you know cameras and they're not really getting any justice for it because when they do get taken to court you know it's either dropped and you know it's it's very political so it's very sad and you know i think we all should you unite because we're all humans at the end of the day you know and we all gotta live on this earth together you, you you know no one doesn't own no earth you know we all are on this earth together and we should all be able to just move as we please now speaking on social media the racism on social media is absolutely crazy. I've never used TikTok before until someone suggested it. And when I have, since I have been using it, the stuff that I've seen and on seen on there about, you know, Pakistanis getting called, excuse my language, Pakis and black people and, you know, even black people talking about white people, it's just, it's crazy, you know? And I do believe it's gonna come to where, a day and age where we're all gonna have to, you know, choose you know where we are but you know with myself i got asked the other day by one of my subscribers a shout out to you you know who you are and they asked me how do i feel being mixed race and to be honest with you mixed race is half black half white and i am totally proud to be the best of both and you know i have been called you know the n-word and whatever but you know at the end of the day my skin color I'm happy with you know and there's a lot of women that like my skin color too but you know it's just it's it's pettiness and we all just need to unite and that's the main thing so you know it's definitely not about skin color but the next thing that I will say since we're on this subject is that I said it in my live chat as well on Instagram Indians and Pakistani people are more respected than black people so when everyone's saying you know all lives matter well all lives can't matter until black lives matter because right now, you know, black lives really don't matter. You know, yes, the a lot of things have changed from slavery and from back in the 1950s and things are a lot better and acceptable and, you know, more integrated and so forth. But it's not the way it should be to where all humans are seen as equal humans. It doesn't matter what skin color you are, you know, you should be respected 
as a human being. So I hope you all do enjoy. And if you're not racist, click the like button, leave you know your comments below into what I, what I said on my video. I do appreciate you all supporting the movement. I'll be doing the giveaway this week. So do stay locked, do stay safe people, and do stay out of prison, stay off the streets, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.